Hello YouTube. Today we're going to show you how to use up all your scraps in the optimizer of Mosaic software. Let's get into it. Okay, so within the optimizer, you're going to be running your material and your first page is going to look like this. So the material tab. Now we're going to flip back and forth between the material tab, the optimized tab and the part patterns tab. So for starters, Mosaic calls scraps remnants. So in our case, we're going to use this little remnants box right here and this will help you set up any scraps that you have so what you're gonna end up doing is if you have scraps in your sheet rack or whatever and you're trying to use up a scrap that's a certain size you're gonna go to this add remnant button there's a few ways to do this this is the first option so say your scrap is 22 by uh, 84 if you want to use up this scrap piece first, you're going to use this little button right here, and then you're going to hit, uh, optimize it as per normal. If you want to use it only if it helps with the optimization, click this little button right here, and this would give you a don't use remnants at all option. Um, this library button, we'll get into that later, you can actually save your scraps as you're cutting and then refer back to them right here and you can just select them. So that's the first stage. Then you're gonna to wanna to go to optimize. I'm gonna select use it first because I wanna show you guys how to use it. And then we're gonna click optimize as per normal. I already ran it, but I'm gonna run it again. So as you can see, the first sheet has my 22 by 84 inch remnant. Now, if you have multiple of those, you can then edit the quantity as well. So you can run that as many times as you want. You can add as many remnants as you want. So that's your first example. So create a remnant and then drop it in. The next phase is, let's say for example, you've got to the end of your sheet or the end of all your patterns, and then you have a remnant like this. So Mosaic deals with remnants by left clicking in the open space. It's not smart enough to like crop out all these little jogs here. It'll just do a rectangle, which for intents and purposes is not terrible, but it's, it'll work. So you click that, then you're gonna select cut the remnant, and then you also want to select save to remnant library. And that's where we're referring back to that first item in the material tab. So I'm going to select OK. As you can see, remnant successfully saved to the remnant library. This is a library that's consistently saved for this material. And then you can even print the label. It'll print the label for this as well. So let's go to the labels tab. If you have the label uh, add on, I guess. <clears throat> so you can see you're getting this big remnant sticker also gives you the size of the remnant as well which is pretty handy so maybe when you're uh, offloading this off the sheet after you've cut it you can slap the sticker on it slide it back in the rack and it'll give you a reference to get back into that remnant if you need it again so let's say for example now this is a new job and you Let's delete our two that we added. Uh, say we want to add that remnant. Oops, let's delete that one. You're going to select from library. It's not smart enough to know that we haven't cut that already, which is fine. We're just using it for an example purposes. So then you're going to select that remnant. And obviously if you put the sticker on it, you'll have an easy way to reference it here. And then you click OK, and then it'll dump that remnant in there. And then you can go back to your optimizer and run it again. So 
So as you can see, you're now being nested on that uh, on that remnant. Now, probably the last way to do it would be to let's say, for example, you want to manually do this, and you have a few um, pieces that have been you've lost while you're cutting. Let's just I'm going to run the G code for this because that's the only way you'll be able to mark something as a remake. Run G code. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to right click and move to remake bin. I'm just going to pick a few. Say I lost a few parts here. So now let's say at the end, I'm going to go back to view all patterns. Now I've cut all the sheets and I want to uh, utilize except for this last sheet, I want to utilize this little offcut. You can move these parts onto the end and then rerun the code. This one be too big, but I think you get the idea. Drag those on, rerun your G code again. Okay, that would be one option. And then the other option would be is to go back to view all patterns and add a new sheet. So now we've added a brand new sheet. If you go back to view all patterns, you can see it's just one blank sheet. If you want to edit the size of this sheet, for example, using some of your scraps, you're going to hit edit sheet and you're going to modify this sheet size right here. So say it's that 22 by 84. Click OK. OK, so we have our remnant sheet here, 84 by 22. We're going to drag in our parts. And then uh, all you have to do is just line up your parts however you like them there. And there you go, you've got your, you can also bump them around. So right click, bump left and down. Right click, bump left and down. And this is uh, referencing your gaps and your edge spacing. I think for this material that one inch, which is too much, but it's just how I had this one set up and then the part spacing at 7 16 And then I guess you'd flip that part over and then you can generate your G code. Obviously that's pretty poor yield, but you get the idea. Maybe this guy will go over here. You don't need a tutorial on moving parts around. That's pretty straightforward. Yeah, something like that. So using up your scraps in the optimizer, pretty straightforward. Um, and that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great one. If you're eager to dive deeper into Mosaic, enhance your shop, or explore the possibilities with CNC routers and 3D printing, you're in the right place. Your feedback drives our content, so subscribe to stay updated with the latest tutorials and tips. Watch out for our next video.